Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Uh, this is a Star Stable update time. I can finally play Star Stable again after a longer amount of time and you might notice that the background noise should be gone. Uh, so I, I got I got a noise suppression thing. Yeah, it's it's pretty cool. Uh, but um, we have a new story quest, but because I am only level 18, then we won't be able to do it. Uh, I will start doing quests with me again because I cannot find the motivation to do quests otherwise. Uh, but yeah, let's go over today's update. I will also be buying a Shire while we're doing it. Where are the Shires? I don't know. I'm just gonna go look around. There's one in Fort Pinta. I think they might be in Silverglade. <sighs> Anyways, today's update is a new story quest, as I said, uh, and it's called One of Our Witches. Uh, let's just see, the Posofinos are cute. I have one. Yep, the Shires are here. Now, uh, let's read while I try to choose a Shire. Uh, now reunited, the Soul Riders must investigate a mysterious force that has taken over Yorvik. Uh, who or what is behind this? The Soul Riders are set out to learn about the dark force that has instilled fear in P, but they uncover more than ev they ever expected, sending them on a journey to unwritten grounds in hopes of finding an old friend who can help. What they don't expect is to make a new friend and come face to face with both old and new enemies. Th uh, the stakes are higher than ever, as new characters are added to the mix of magical Yorvik, each wanting the same thing for every, for very different reasons. Join up with the Soul Riders in Hollow Woods, and let the adventures begin. Uh, so basically, to set out on this adventure, you must be a Soul Rider and have reunited the Soul Riders in the previous story quest, where you help Alex look for Anne on the Trail of Anne. <clears throat> also... Something very cool I need to check out. Um, do you hear it? Your footsteps can be heard loud and clear as your character strolls around Yorvik. Put on your headphones and try it out on different surfaces to get the full effect. I'm gonna turn up the volume. <gasps> Whoa. Wow, that's amazing. I'm gonna turn down the volume a bit. And then horse retirement. Uh, the next horses to leave us for greener pastures are the Generation 1.5 Morgan horses. I hope the Morgans do get an update, though, because it's going to be interesting to see what new breeds we will get. I want them to update the Mustangs so bad. Uh, during the Wednesday update on September 21st, they will leave. Yorick can not be available for purchase from then on. Find them at Ferdinand's Horse Market before they re receive their well-earned retirement. While we love uh, each and every one of our old horses, sometimes we need to make changes to ensure the game can run at the best possible performance. One of these changes will be to slowly phase out our very oldest horses, which is kind of sad, but on the same time, it makes room for new horses. If you already have purchased any of these horses, no need to worry. The horses will stay unchanged in your safe ownership. Please note that they will not be further supported with bug fixes, updates, or new tack. And coming next week is some magical horses, which I will buy star coins, even though I have almost 2k, and we will get one of the magical horses because content. <laughs> so let's now buy a Shire, and then I will talk about the updated character blog post. I don't know which one to get. The gray one is nice. There's a black one, and whoa, look at their faces. Oh right, the animations thing. The bay one is really nice, but also the seal bay. This one is kind of plain. This one has Sabino, I believe. This is a nice horse. The gray one is nice, but it's, again, it's plain. <sighs> the gray is so nice for some reason. And the black one, which I really like the bay one, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna get the bay one. We don't have a single Sabino horse, I believe.
Nice. Let's buy it. Box candle. Uh, let's make him a gelding. And he is going to be an adult. Let's name him Charm. Yeah, buy horse. Yes. Whoa. This is so cool. I absolutely love this feature. Let's right now. Oh, that's that is great. That is amazing. Let's actually go to the home stable really quickly and get some pack and make an outfit and I will open up the blog post. This is going to be nice because I there's some sort of beta release. I'm just going to quickly find the blog post. Uh, I have some pictures screenshotted for you guys so you can see the pictures. The text is not that interesting really so so basically uh player character update and beta launch so hey there star fan we have such exciting news to share with why did i leave my horse behind we have such excite can this phone stop we have such exciting news to share with you uh we made a lot of progress on the update of the player character you know what just uh, and we have a clear vision on what we will aim towards in the following years, but also what we can realistically release initially. As you know, SSL will be 11 years old next month, and everything we do has to be crafted specifically to fit with all the existing content. Our focus on the player for the player character was first and foremost more diversity, and we feel we've achieved a big step in that direction. Although there are still technical aspects to tackle before being able to deliver the character's full potential. Uh, we know you've waited long enough for new skin tones, body shapes, hair cells, etc. We know the conf uh, We are now confident the base is stable and future and future proof, meaning that we can continue to adapt the characters going forward. Uh, so, what can you expect soon? Well, we will be launching a beta in September for select players to get their hands on the new character and try it out. These players can share pictures and videos and more details will follow soon about how you can sign up to participate. I definitely want to sign up and uh, I will uh, probably make a video on it if if I do get selected, which I doubt. <laughs> but let's get into the details of the character. That new journey will start launching the will start launching the game, introducing you to a new character customization screen. You should be able to choose body shape, face shape, skin color, eye color, eyebrow shape, and eyebrow color. That update is of course free. If you want to change your hair and makeup, you will be able to do that identically as today through the vanity table in your home stable. Also, in your home stable, it will still be possible to modify your appearance at any time if you change your mind. Our amazing artist crafted six beautiful body types, which, ha which was maybe one of the most challenging options for us, as clothes and animations have to work on all of them. In the future, we would really like to increase the options of the skin texture to increase muscle definition, add scars, stretch marks, and more customization. Je but these improvements can't happen just right now. Sever several iterations will be needed in the background and we aren't able to predict yet when that could be ready but that would be really cool so far the characters look amazing i i love that i love it i literally and also picture of the all the six body types they're looking really good right now like i'm Honestly, I, I can't wait for this update. Let's see what bridle we can put for this guy. I think we're going to go with this bridle, which is my favorite uh, brown bridle. The walnut. Let's get a saddle. I think a red saddle pad would suit, suit him. So we could do like... Why is that there? That's concerning. Nope, not putting purple. 
or yellow. Yellow doesn't really look good. I mean, this is all right, but I think I'm gonna stick with the red Ooh, or green, maybe. <gasps> yes, green suits this horse so well. Now, it obviously can't wear leg wraps. Let's just make a quick outfit for the character, and we're done. Let's also go check out the animations while I continue reading. Uh, you will also be able to choose between 12 gorgeous skin tones. We didn't forget people with birthmark and vitiligo. Just excuse the fact that I don't know what that means. I know what a birthmark is, okay? But I don't know what the other one is, so. We're still researching what would be the best technical solution, so although these can't be added right now, don't worry, we're on it. Eye colors will be quite similar as we have today. Heterochromia, eyes with different colors, has been considered, but won't be available in this first step. Makes sense, it's gonna be a bit difficult to implement. Uh, we're very happy with the 12 faces we're proposing. Each one is unique and beautiful. We know you might be disappointed not to have more customization options yet, but co combined with makeup, eyebrows, and skin color, it creates hundreds of thousands of possibilities. And yes, eyebrows. Just as mentioned, they are now are a new customization parameter that will change a lot. You will be able to choose at first between 16 brow types and which color you would like to have them. So here are all of the faces, two pictures. Uh, they look great, to be honest. Uh, makeup has been updated and we added the option not to wear makeup too. The possibility to choose only lip or eye makeup has been partially done, but we will have to completely change the inventory and shop systems before being able to release that. Makes makes sense, in my opinion. New rainbow eyeshadow tested on different eye shapes. All the old slash current hairstyles have been updated too. Uh, and some new have been added. And while we didn't manage to have our target at 50-50 balance between straight slash wavy hairs, type 1, uh, 2, and curly slash coily hairs type 3 and 4 were not giving up regularly after release. More hairstyles and colors will be added to finally reach a variety of choice for the player that is realistic with the beautiful diversity of hair types. So the makeup, uh, the rainbow makeup is so nice though. Uh, and the hairstyle, it looks amazing. It is actually so well done. So for clothes and accessories, we went through the crazy challenge to adapt all the current clothes to every new body type, body shape, sorry, Jesus. Uh, all are functional in game, however, uh, however, we didn't manage to reach the level of quality originally planned, therefore they were will also be updated through time, so please don't panic if some of your favorite outfits look weird or stretch. They will have a second update. That's nice to hear. Wow, the gates are so nice. The horse in general is really nice. We're in quite a similar situation with animations. We know how much you were dreaming of smooth, realistic, updated animations. It has been a very difficult journey for us to finally have a character with an amazing potential for... <clears throat> for a new level of animation, and the release won't yet uh, show that full potential. We need more development time to code a better interaction between horse animations and the character, but thanks to our great technical artists and developers, we managed to transfer the old animations to every body shape, and we're already working hard to be able to update them one by one, by one post-release. So we will get new animations at some point from what I'm reading right now, which is great. I'm fine with the old animations for as long as we are actually getting new animations, so. Of course, we thought of hundreds more options and possibilities, and we will continue to keep you up to date on any progress on the player character. We can't wait to have the new player character in-game and find out more about what you like and what you will want to see in the future, because it's just the beginning. This is a really exciting update that everyone's been waiting for. I would rather have a really well-done character that I've waited for than have a bad looking character that was rushed. Sometimes they rush the horses, I don't want them to rush this update. And the horses usually turn out um, wrong. <laughs> so Finally, I would really love to thank all the amazing people who worked directly on this update, our super talented concept artists, 3D artists, animators, technical animators, graphics programmer, engine and tools developers. Uh, server developers, gameplay programmers, game designer, UI slash UX designer, economy designer, web developers, localization specialists, and of course, 
the great people of the best Q&A team. So the animations are really smooth. I love that. I'm I am multitasking right now. I'm reading while playing SSO. I'm so talented. A huge thanks also to our talented colleagues from marketing, communication, and community who worked hard on blog posts and on keeping you guys updated, and to anyone else that supported us, gave us feedback, and who were very active in feeding us special th feeding us with great ideas during the process. Special shout out to our player ambassadors who go above and beyond with support, passion, and feedback. So that was the blog post, or not really blog post, there's a blog post too, which I believe is the same, there could be more info, but this is... Uh, Star Stable's um, post that's on the Star Stable online website. Uh, so let's just see the rest of the animations. I don't see a lot of horses being made on the, um, what is it called? Right lead uh, canter, but now, now there is. But wow, the <laughs> but the character looks so stiff, it's actually funny. I don't have really many, like, bigger horses, uh, like, the Shires only have, like, a magical horse, uh, and that's an old Shire? I don't know, okay? I don't know. Really nice. Gallop. The I love how smooth the animations are. Okay, let's check out the jumps. So this is in canter, just regular canter. Nice. Okay. Nice. Uh, what else do they have? Oh yeah. Reverse. The rear. Oh, I like the rear. They do have a special move. It's definitely similar to the um, Eric Wild Horse, of course. It, w it wouldn't be star stable if the reins didn't go through the neck. Right, that was the Shire. I'm pretty happy with this horse. Uh, so yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed this video because... Uh, this is going to take some editing. Uh, and I hope to see you guys next time, which is Friday, which is also another Star Stable video. Uh, little spoiler, it's a realistic roleplay video. I don't know if I talked about this in my last video, but I do hope you enjoyed. I am going to go and edit this video and then, yeah, see you later. Bye.